Hi everyone, today is my one month of doing bug bounty and also the day that I was able to find my third bug. Uh, let's talk with the third bug first. So my third bug as you can see on your screen was an idol, supposedly. Uh, but after a quick correction from the Synac team, it was not basically an idol, rather it was an access violation. Um, IDOR, IDOR stands for Insecure Direct, Direct Object Reference. And I have found uh, and I have found a good explanation from background about it. And here it is. Uh, I won't explain all of it. I'll just share the link on the description. So what I will be doing is just focus on this diagram to discuss about Ador. So basically Ador is like this. A parameter containing a value that references to a user. For this one it is the ID 1000. So based on this diagram it by changing it to 1002 allows the user to view the fro profile that belongs to other user. So by changing this 1000 to 1002, I was able to view the profile of the user that has the object or ID 1002. But that was not my case. Although I was confused because in order for me to get this third bug, I needed to make modification on that on a direct object reference, which does not really references to a user, rather it bypasses a role or permission, so the Synac team suggested that it was not an idol, rather an access violation. Af after that, I quickly realized also that indeed it is not an idol. Anyway, sorry for blurring some information here, I needed to do it for the privacy of the Synac. And now going to my first month of doing bug bounty. To be honest, my first month is not that great and not that bad. I was able to find my bounty the first day I started on Synac, but it took me almost a month to find my second and third. And and as you can see on your screen, these are the vulnerabilities that I found in this with something like a stop sign means it is a duplicate or got rejected. And as you can see, having a night vulnerabilities being rejected, I almost lost my motivation and almost ended up quitting bug bounty. But good thing is, even though my mind stopped wanting to do bug bounty, I still force it to do so. And I believe if I haven't done that, I won't get this 275 and 500. And I know people like me think bug bounty is easy because someone made it look easy. But we needed to, but we needed to realize that behind every every payout. It's a lot of reports. It's a lot of it's a lot of reports that sometimes ended up being duplicates and out of scope. Um, just remember, if you feel like giving up on something you want or your dream, think about why you wanted to do it at first. Uh, remember this. Some might say that bug bounty is not for everyone. Um, yeah, maybe. But don't you want to give it a try? Extra an effort. Give it a, give it a time. You shouldn't expect that. You could get a bounty in just a day of doing it, but possibly, but don't expect. This is the problem with us beginners. We expect to get a bounty right away and we, and if we fail to do so, we end up, we end up giving up and thinking it is not for us. Um, for now, when you are starting, think of doing bug bounty as a way to enhance your skill. And even if it is a duplicate, you still find a bug. And you give yourself a tap on the back. Congratulate yourself. So, yeah, I guess that's it. This is my first month of doing bug bounty and also finding my third bug. Thank you and bye bye.